Welcome to part two of my overrated games video. Now let's start where I uh, left off. Another game that I find to be overrated. This one's actually kind of bad. Um, I mean, oops. I mean, it, it's still okay, but um, it's, I just didn't find it to be very good. Oh, wow. Actually, this game got positive and negative reviews, but mostly positive. But believe it or not, some sites actually rated it uh, the way I would rate it, and yet a lot just overrated it. It's what I call a reverse roll Mario game. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about Super Princess Peach. Now, hmm, when I first played this, I was thinking I was just playing. I forgot I was playing a Peach game, and even though Peach was on it, I forgot I was playing a Peach game, and I thought I was just playing some crappy Super Mario World ripoff. Now, the thing that pisses me off the most about this game is that these, it was originally going to feature the Koopalings, which were classic villains that got replaced by Bowser Jr. And guess what? This game replaced them with stupid bigger versions of regular enemies you can find commonly in the game, like giant Goombas. That's not much of a boss. That's, that's, that blows. It's bull crap. Moving on. Oh wait, hang, no, no, not moving on yet. The sites that rated it, the mo what I would rate it are game ratings, Metacritic, OneUp.com. Game Revolution, yeah, Game, and official Nintendo Magazine. Game rank, or well, no, not game ratings, game rankings gave it a 76, Metacritic gave it a 75, 1up.com gave it a B plus, uh, Game Revolution gave it a C plus, um, Um, official Nintendo Magazine gave it a 72%. Now, here's the here's the sites that I feel overrated it. Now, wait, one, no, another site that rated it the way I would rate it is Eurogamer, which gave it a 6 out of 10. Now, here's the sites that I feel overrated it. Let's see. All game gave it a four, a three and a half out of five. Now, actually, I'd give it about that. But Famitsu gave it a thirty-four out of forty. Game Pro gave it a four out of five. Gamespot gave it a. Actually, I'd rate it this. I, I agree with Gamespot on this. They gave it a seven point two out of ten. Uh, Gamespot gave it, of course, a three and a half out of ten. Games Radar overrated and gave it a 7 out of 10. Game Zone an 8.8 .8 out of 10. IGN a 7.8 out of 10. And X Play a 4 out of 5 stars. So, I, um, this is just. Let me, let me, let me count the ones I'd rate it. 3, 4. Whoops. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So it's almost half and half. 
but still, it's a pretty unique game. Uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't really recommend it. Now, moving on. Oh, hang on. Um, with... Super Paper Mario. <clears throat> Super Paper Mario was a good game and all. Um... How do I say this? The environments and the characters I found to be very strange. And instead of the usual party members, they give you these weird pixel thingies. They look like they just took the they just took these things out of an 8-bit game and like sprinkled good graphics over them and randomly put them in a Mario game and called them Mario's party members in my opinion um the first Mario party game is my favorite uh, the first Mario party game is the best um or at least it's the best for the levels and gameplay. Now, in terms of level, oh well, yeah, 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 level design is still Paper Mario One, but but in terms of storyline, um, uh, uh, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door is the best storyline for the Mario Party series but there's an upcoming Mario I mean, pa <sighs> Paper Mario for the Nintendo 3DS it looks awesome and instead of pixels you get party members that's what a Paper Mario game should have. Not pixels. It looks amazing. So, uh. Super Paper Mario wasn't. Was, wasn't a bad game, it was just the worst Paper Mario. Worst Paper Mario out there. I'm sorry to say, Nintendo. I'm sorry. Next on my list are Yoshi and Yoshi's Cookie. There's not much to say except they are the most boring puzzle games I ever played. Not even columns. Not even columns is as confusing as these games. Moving on before I bore myself to sleep on it and end up making an hour long video of me sleeping. Now, this overrated game. Gosh, I'm gonna get me some hate comments for this. Um. Super Mario Bros. 2, not the Japanese version, the U.S. version. Once again, this is not a bad game, folks. I'm not calling this a bad game. This, in fact, this is a fantastic game. This is an amazing game. This is an awesome game. One of the one of the best for the NES. But the reason why I find it overrated is when I play it, I don't feel like I'm playing a Mario game. Um, I feel like I'm playing a game that's got r random a random world with the only common enemy being a shy guy and Birdo. With ran other random enemies, 
uh, random worlds, and they just they just decide to throw together some Mario games, Mario characters, and call it a Mario game. You know why it start it has random levels and everything. You know why it doesn't seem like a Mario game. That's because it didn't even start out as a Mario game. It started out as some random Japan only game about I think some Indian family or something like that called Doki Doki Panic for the Famicom Disk System. Once again, this is the, the um, Super Mario Bros. Two or Doki Doki Panic. It's not a bad game, it's just strange. Very strange. Extremely strange. Randomly strange. Randomly extremely strange. Stay tuned for part three.